there guys, I am the Gaming Lemon, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little Machinima clip there. If you guys would like to see more Machinima clips on Black Ops 2 or Machinimas in general on any game, be sure to leave a comment. But anyway, today I'm going to be uh, showing you an emblem tutorial on Black Ops 2, and this is going to be how to create this uh, South Park character, Stan Marsh. It's, um, it's fairly simple, uh, you just, uh, just need to um, kind of uh, switch the shapes a little bit, and by that I mean um, you need to press right stick on some shapes and kind of make them wider and smaller like that. But first what you will need is you will need the plain circle, the colour you will need is, um, this is obviously for his face, you will need this colour right here, um, just kind of in the bottom left corner, one to the right and one up, um, just because I found that one was the closest uh, to the colour of his skin, probably even perfect. But the next layer you want to do, oh crap, kind of a messed up there. There we go. The next layer you want to do is a half circle and make it the blue colour. What you will need to do is put this uh, just over his head, the, the top half of his head, just so it's perfect, the perfect size, you know. Don't worry that um, I'll move the layer. Like, you'll see that the blue will overhang, um, you know, where the red bit should be. Don't worry about that, it will get that fixed soon, just leave it like that. Then we just put it back in its original place, there we go. And the next layer you will need is you will need this kind of... Um, Smile like um, picture. I'll try and find it on here. You go into tools. All, all these emblems are in tools, by the way, in the tool section on the emblems. And it is this one. What you need to do is just flip it round. And what I did is I think I pressed the right stick. Actually, you no, know, this is perfect. Uh, you don't need to adjust it, anything. Just literally place it on top of his head and pick the red color, which is I found. This one to be the uh, most I like is, you know, red hat colour. I like it to be perfect just cause, so it's OCD and because it will look a lot nicer. Um, so once you've done that, once you've done that layer, the next layer you want to do is his eyes. Now this one is fairly difficult. You might have to do a bit of adjusting to find the right, you know, fit for his eyes. In tools again, go right to the bottom and find the circle. Obviously keep it white. Um... But as you can see, it's a circle right now, but if you press the right stick on your controller, whether it be PS3 or on Xbox, <clears throat> this basically means you can make it wider or taller and uh, kind of make it into an oval shape, and that's what we're going to do. Um, push push your uh, analog stick slightly to the left and twist it round, and as you guys will see, it will turn into like an... Oh, whoops, mess up the... And as you guys will see, it turns into kind of like an egg shape. Um, I did kind of a lot of tweaking with this... Uh, Tweak from South Park. Um, I did quite a lot of um, tweaking with this uh, to find the uh, right shape for his eye because um, I want it to be, look perfect. But this is already a kind of a, what it should look like. Just kind of make it into an oval shape and twist it around a bit and put it where his eye should be. Copy and paste that one and flip it to the other side. And so you have two eyes right next to each other. It's fairly simple. Like I'll do it here. And just like that, you got two eyes. And I think I removed the mouth by accident, but that's fine. We can just recreate it again. Oh, whoops! That was the wrong one as well. <laughs> okay, we'll just use one as a use this one as a temporary one. But the next layer you want to do is the eyes. This is really this is probably just the simplest one. Obviously, you just need to get two circles and make them small, make them black, and just copy and paste them onto both eyes. Try and keep them aligned so it looks a lot neater. And then um. Uh, you know, you got it fine. And this emblem right here, this is for like in in the middle of his eyes. There's like a black line that goes down to kind of separate the eyes. Um, again, this is found in tools. If I can find it myself, here it is. Um, obviously, you want to make this color black. And with the same thing we did before, the eyes, you want to kind of adjust it and make it a bit. Um, how do you say? Thinner. So like, um, press right stick on your um, controller. And kind of push it to the right so it looks a lot straighter. Press right stick again so it's back to normal. And then kind of make it as small as you can and put it right in next to his eyes. And um, it'll make it look like what he does in the TV show. So it looks like really accurate. And it looks a lot better than the other tutorials that are out there. And the last bit, basically the last bit, is um, uh, the top of his hat. It's kind of like a um, red kind of a... What's it? It's like a red line sticking out everywhere. Um, for this one, you, you could... Use if I could find it. Here it is. You could use this tool here and make it really thin, like like this, and make it a red color again. And then make loads of them and twist them round, and probably make the outline of it as well. How do you make the outline of it? There we go. 
Oh wait, no, that doesn't work either. Never mind. Um, but I found it just easier to get this shape right here and just use it as the top. It's a lot simpler, which can, again can be found in the tools emblem, uh, which is right here. Or you could go into ranks and use this, but I don't, don't think that will look as good um, as the shape we've got now. Now, obviously, the last bit is the mouth. Now, I personally think you should make it, um, uh, make him like uh, kind of look a, not sad, but kind of a normal face. Because if you do it smiling, it doesn't really look as right. Um, obviously, you want to make it black. And again, we might, I, I adjusted mine just so it looked a bit similar to the one on the TV show. I made it a bit wider like that and made it also a bit thinner. And, you know, that's fine like that. So that is how to make the emblem or the stand marsh tutorial. If you want me to make any more tutorials and any emblems, be sure to leave a suggestion in the comments. If you did enjoy this Black Ops 2 tutorial emblem, please do leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Lemon out.